Hello, my name is Egon Ogris. I'm a group leader at the Max Perutz Labs and an associate professor at the Medical University of Vienna. We would like to report findings that might be of great importance and interest to all those scientists who use antibodies as detection tools in their daily research. Because of their excellent properties, antibodies are a gift of nature, but there is, as with many things, a dark side attached to them. They can mislead our research because they might detect things they shouldn't detect and equally bad, sometimes they do not detect the target which they should detect. In two studies in science signaling, we uncovered the dark side in antibodies against an enzyme family termed PP2A, which gained lots of interest recently as an anti-cancer drug target. And in a second study, antibodies against the MIG epitope tag, a tag which is frequently used for protein detection. The study on the PP2A antibodies was led by Ingrid Frohner in my lab and the one on the MIG epitope tag antibodies by Stefan Schüchner. So in our first publication we revealed that antibodies which are supposed to detect both total PP2A species only detect a small fraction of them. So how can this be? Antibodies are often created against the ends of proteins because uh, these are good targets for antibody recognition. So also for PP2A, many antibodies were created to the far end of the protein. What researchers now found out over the last 20 years that exactly this part of the protein is differentially modified. And those modifications are very important for enzyme regulation. So the antibodies do not detect the most important forms of the enzyme. And some of them do even cross-react with closely related phosphatases. Importantly, one of these antibodies is also sold in an activity assay kit, which is proposed to detect total PP2A activity. Our study now reveals that those antibodies are not suited to detect total PP2A and that previous studies using these antibodies should be re-evaluated. Our second paper deals with problems which can arise when using so-called epitope tag specific antibodies. Epitope tags are short peptides which can be fused to the ends of any protein to facilitate its detection. So why did we actually choose to scrutinize exactly such antibodies? Well, in the course of our own research on PP2A, we found out that the most popular MIG tag antibody called 9E10, and which is used in more than 6,000 publications, had a hard time to detect a certain form of a MIG tag PP2A subunit and that these problems were dependent on the amino acids between the tag and the protein. So we validated a number of commercial MIG tag antibodies and we found that the detectability by such antibodies was very much influenced by the position of the tag and the protein surrounding of the tag. So under certain circumstances it can be that a MIG tag protein is well present in a cell or in the cell lysate but it stays almost invisible to us because of the cloning context and because of the antibody we choose for its detection. This of course opens the door for data misinterpretation and emphasizes once again how important it is to validate the antibody and to use them with great care.